Yeah, so um, I just got a new vehicle for the channel. Yes, that is right. I um, got a new vehicle for the channel that was completely unexpected, um, as for probably all of you, because um, never saw this coming at all. But I did get a new vehicle, um, and I wanted to show you guys that right now. I don't know if you guys can see it in my reflection yet or not. Um, hopefully not, but here is the new vehicle for the Dulops channel on YouTube. It is a 1989 K1500 Scottsdale. Oh yeah. You're probably wondering how I got this truck. Well, I, uh, whenever I picked it up, I talked about it a good bit. And you will see that here very soon. But this truck has 74,210 miles on it. It's a... Um, 1989 it was built in 1988 it was picked up in December of 2000 yeah this is 2000 in uh, 1988 and um, I just want to show you guys some really quick shots here of the car and hopefully you guys enjoy them as well here we go <laughs> Pappy, All right. love you. Oh yeah. What? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take real good care of it, Pappy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, I love you. Oh yeah. Uh, we're good. Thank you. Stop anytime. Stop anytime. Alrighty, All right. love you. Bye-bye. Alright. Alrighty. So it was the year of 1988 in the month of December and my dad, which is actually behind me right now following me, um, took my grandfather, which is my mom's dad, to uh, a local dealership and they picked this truck up on <clears throat> in December of 1988. And four months later in April, April 25th, I was born. So, this truck has been in my life the entire time. I'm, I'll, I'll be 30 years old next April, and this truck um, was, was bought right before I was born. And my pap and I, um, he used to always take me to, to, the, um, to the railroad stations. We'd go look at the trains. We'd go to Wilson College in Chambersburg and go talk to the guys, go look at the horses. We used to go into Chambersburg and... <clears throat> and look at the, uh, go to like little flea markets and walk down along the streets and 
I just have so many memories in this truck. And my grandfather, who just turned 82, he has diabetes really bad. And um, unfortunately, because of his diabetes, um, he's not, not able to push the clutch in anymore. And because of that, he told my mom that he was looking at having to sell his truck, which completely just ripped, ripped my heart out because it's hard to see my grandparents get old and not be able to do certain things because of their age. So I told my mom, I was like, you know, I have so many memories in that truck. I'd hate to see it go to somebody who we don't know. <clears throat> so my mom's like, well, why don't you go talk to your pap about it and see, you know, what he, what he says. So two weeks ago on a Monday evening after work, I went up to his house and uh, talked to him for a little while and I said to him, I said, Pap, you know, my mom said that you want to sell your truck. He's like, well, Jeremy, he's like, it's not that I want to sell my truck, it's that I have to because I just, I'm, I'm not able to anymore with my, with my diabetes. And he said, uh, he said, because of my diabetes, I'm not able to anymore. Um, I'm still the child in this clutch. Anyways, <clears throat> because of his diabetes, he was unable to push the clutch in anymore. <clears throat> he said, why do you want to you buy it? And I was like, well, I said, where I stand with it is I do not want this truck going to anybody else because I have so many memories in this truck. I love this truck to death. And I guarantee if you sold it to some other person, they'd probably do a bunch of stupid stuff to it, jack it up, put a bigger engine in it, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff to it that I would hate to see done to this car so he said well long story short he ended up telling me that he wanted me to have the truck so um the clip you saw before trip away I, I went there two nights ago um the day before thanksgiving and we transferred the title got a new license plate got registration all that stuff is good to go now um and the truck is mine um it's I've told a lot of people it's really, really nice to have this truck. I'm very excited it's mine, but it's so, so sad for me to know the reasons why I have this truck because obviously my grandparents are getting older. Um, I'm extremely blessed to, to still have all four of my grandparents. Um, my mom and dad's parents, both of them, all four of them are all still alive and decently healthy. Um, but knowing that the reasons that I have this truck because they're getting older and can't do things just breaks my heart because I've always been so close to my grandparents. Um, so, yeah, I'm very happy I have this truck. It's definitely something that it's going to be uh, extremely nice to have once my grandfather is gone. Um, it's going to be a good momentum, uh, a good way for me to memorize, mem remember him, you know, and things we did together. And I have a few pictures of this truck. Um, I'll put them up right now. But uh, there's a picture of me whenever I was, I think I was like three years old, I'm in the passenger seat and my pap was driving. Um, and there's a picture of, of me, I'm real tiny as you can see. Um, but before I left today in the truck, I wanted to get a picture of my grandfather with me now at age 29, which I'll also put up. And after that picture, I wanted to get a picture of me in the driver's seat with my two and a half year old son in the passenger seat. And like my mom said, it's amazing how the roles reverse. Like 30 years ago, well, 29 years ago, my pat buys the truck and he's driving me around places. And now here it is. I'm 29 years old. My pap can no longer drive it. And I'm driving, I can't drive my son around yet because there's no car seats in here. But I'll eventually be driving my, grand, my son around in it. And eventually my grandson. So it's just, it's weird seeing how life changes and different things that happen. But I'm just, I'm really happy have this truck and the thing that's so weird is um you know as most of you guys know <clears throat> the corvette my, my 91 corvette is my my car that i you know make my videos on but i was really kind of getting concerned because you know now that it's 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 thanksgiving yesterday was thanksgiving today's black friday now that the, the it has snowed already um I'm not able to drive my Corvette much anymore, and I was kind of telling, I was telling my wife I really don't know what I'm going to do as far as content because I don't want to drive the Corvette when there's salt and stuff on the road and destroy it. Well, whenever this happened, which was completely unexpected, I was like, well, this is perfect because now I have a vehicle that I can drive when it's cold and in the snow and have content to make for my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys don't 
start running away since you know it's wintertime here in Pennsylvania. I still have stuff coming out. I still have some videos planned with the Corvette before I put it away. But I, I, I'm definitely excited for the future videos that this is going to bring. And I'm glad you guys could be along for the ride. <clears throat> Again, I really appreciate your guys' support. Um, I have reached 235 subscribers now, which blows my mind. Uh, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. This truck is a uh, manual. It has four gears and an overdrive. Um, so now my Corvette, my Jetta, and my truck are all manuals, which is awesome because I'm a huge manual guy. I don't like automatics at all. So, And another cool thing is, is we're almost a full Chevy family now. My Jetta, of course, I'm not selling it until it dies, but um, once that does go, my, my, the car I want to get um, is a Chevy. I'm not going to say what that is yet because that'll be a, a future video whenever that happens in the future. But um, right now we have three Chevys in the family. Um, and one Volkswagen, so I'm very happy to be three-quarter Chevys in this family and uh, look, look forward to everything that they're going to bring here in the future. The other thing that's so cool about this truck is it only has, right now it has 74,216.6 miles on this engine, original engine. It's, it's hard to believe that a truck this old has, only has that many miles. And I'm so glad that it does because it should last me a long time and I'm, as you guys saw in the, in the shots previous to this there are like there's like no rust anywhere uh, the, the body is in really good shape uh, it's been garage kept its entire life which is kind of a bummer for me because now that I have it it's not gonna be in the garage which really breaks my heart but hopefully within a year or two my wife and I are finally gonna get a house and when we get a house it will of course have a garage um, and it will be kept in the garage with the Corvette at that time but it's so it's so cool with these old vehicles, like how simple the dash is. Like it's literally got a cassette player. It has like 12 buttons. It has the vent buttons, the heat buttons, the up and down buttons, the cold, hot, left and right. That's it. Like it's so simple. You don't have a stupid screen. You gotta click on and try to find different settings. It's everything's right here. It's easy. It shows the time. It's it's just I don't know. I love it. It's four wheel drive. It's got the the manual shifter thing on the floor. It's got one full bench seat, as you guys saw in the pictures. It's just, uh, I don't know. And it doesn't have the back seats, which I'm perfectly fine with. It does have the um, sliding window here on the back, which is pretty cool. Um, it's an eight foot bed, so you can fit like full sheets of drywall or plywood, plywood in there, uh, which, is, which is really nice, huge help there. Um, I can't show you right now, but I love these, the, the style of speedometer these things have is that instead of just having the one needle move it has the entire white strip that moves along with the needle like the orange moves but then the, the previous mount miles per hour are all white I, I love that look I think it's so cool um, it's, it's something about these old cars that I just love right now the car is very very dirty it's very dusty um, I actually had to clean the windshield before I drove it away because um, how dusty it was the last time it was driven on a road was about six months ago um, but uh, I'm gonna, of course, get all that cleaned up with my Adams products, get everything looking spick and span, and it should be beautiful here in a matter of days, uh, which you guys will see whenever that takes place. Right now, I have to go get some gas. It's got about a little over a quarter tank, um, and I want to fill it up because we're actually leaving um, here tonight to go get our Christmas tree for my wife and my kids. I didn't fill it up because I don't have that kind of money right now. But, oh yeah. It's, it's funny, this thing's a 1989, it was actually built in 88 and it has a shift light. Like it actually tells you when to shift up if you're not shifting in time, which I didn't even know that those shift lights even existed until just recently, but I guess they do. And another thing that's funny too is when you go around turns, 
the uh, the fuel gauge like <laughs> goes left and right because it's it's like fluctuating with uh, with the with the fuel sloshing around. That's pretty cool. Now we're gonna head home, and uh, we're gonna park it out in front of my house because I don't have a garage, like I said. Um, but hopefully, like, within a year, maybe two, uh, we'll have a garage for this bad boy. This truck uh, does need inspected. It hasn't been inspected since two, since uh, July of the previous year. So uh, July of 17 is when it was last inspected. So I'll have to get it inspected here um, soon. I'm hoping that it passes. There's really, I don't really know why it wouldn't. Um, but we'll see. Cumberland County does require um, emissions testing. But I'm thinking this 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 truck being a 1989 might be exempt from that, which I'm hoping it is. That'll save me a few bucks. This cassette player has auto reverse, and that's some technology right there. I'm telling you what, oh, it's telling me to shift. I've never driven a car that had uh, or a vehicle that had overdrive before. It it's, has one, two, three, four, and then overdrive. So my, I mean, overdrive is apparently like fifth gear, but it's like for driving like highway or you know 50 miles per hour or more this truck was only made though two years before my corvette so it's got a lot of the same like style-ish looks to it because of you know, back then they didn't have real fancy fancy stuff there's a nice porsche anyways folks uh again i'm very very happy to have this truck it isn't <coughs> it is mine it's it's in my name now I got the insurance on it. Um, so happy to have this truck, like I said. Um, it means a lot to me that my grandparents are willing to give it to me. Uh, it's so special in my heart, and it's gonna be something I cherish for the rest of my life. Um, but like I said, we're just gonna get home here, and my wife's gonna be home from work here in a few hours, so we're gonna go get a Christmas tree, and that will be on video as well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are looking forward to content with this truck. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like. Thank you. Take care now. See you later. Bye.